Hello students. This presentation is part of your online lecture. It is part of your paper Research Methodology Code EED602. In this PPT, I'll discuss with you about the need of documentation of sources. And after this presentation, I'll open the chat room of your class for discussion, which will be both audio and video. Now, basically, what is documenting sources? Documenting sources is an aspect of writing common to all academic fields across the natural sciences, the social sciences, and the humanities. Authors use standard techniques to refer to the works that influenced or otherwise contributed to their research. Now, basically, the question arises that why we need to document the sources. So, academic writing is at its root a conversation among scholars about a topic or question. Scholars write for their peers, communicating the result of their research through books, journal, articles, and other form of published work. In the course of a project, they seek out relevant publications to learn from and build on earlier research. Through their own published work, they incorporate, modify, respond to, and refute previous publications. Given the importance of this conversation to research, authors must have comprehensible verifiable means of referring to one another's work. Such references enable them to give credit to the precursors whose ideas they borrow, build on, or contradict and allow future researchers interested in the history of the conversation to trace it back to its beginning. The references are formatted in a standard way so that they can be quickly understood and used by all. Like a common language, students are called on to learn documentation style in a range of courses throughout the education, but not because it is expected that all students will take up such research practices in their professional lives. Rather, learning the conventions of a form of writing, those of the research essay, for instance, prepare the students to write not just in that form, but in other ones as well. So, this is the why and we'll just see a learning a documentation style, in other words, prepares the writers to be on the lookout for the conventions to which every professional field expects its member to adhere in their writing. Lo legal documents must refer to prior legal documents in a standard way to be acceptable in the legal profession. Reports on scientific research must refer to earlier research in the fashion expected in a particular scientific field. Business documents point to publish information and use a language and format that are accepted in business. Journalists similarly obey conventions for identifying their sources, structuring their stories, and so on. The conventions differ from one profession to another, but their purpose is the same. Learning, good documentation practices is also a key component of academic integrity. However, Avoiding charges of plagiarism is not the only reason that a student should learn to document sources. The proper use of Fields' preferred documentation style is a sign of competence in a writer. Among other benefits, it shows that the writer knows the importance of giving credit where credit is due. It therefore helps the writer become part of a community of scholars and assures readers that the writer's work can be trusted. So in next class, we will talk about plagiarism. Thank you.